Welcome back to my channel, JP here, and it's been a while since I posted one of these gig log videos. I was straight in from 18 months without a gig uh, with a full wedding setup at a venue north of Shrewsbury in Shropshire called Hawkston Hall. Not to be confused with its neighbouring wedding venue, Hawkston Park. Yes, really, there are two wedding venues next door to each other, virtually with the same name. I'm convinced people end up at the wrong weddings some days. The entrance to this, Hawkston Hall, is approached by a long lane that has a massive wow factor as you approach the hall. Hawkston Hall only opened just before lockdown after a multi-million pound renovation. And you can take it from me, when you enter this venue, you can see the attention to detail and the service level they deliver. This wedding was for a friend of mine, Dan, who is also in the industry. He can be found singing at cool bars and wedding venues across the region from time to time with his guitar in hand. Dan married Harriet on the 27th of August, 2020 at this most wonderful wedding venue. I was privileged when Dan approached me to DJ at his wedding. As being in the industry, he knows a lot of DJs across the region. And also, I really wanted a DJ at this venue, as I'd heard and seen great feedback about it. I wanted to find out firsthand if it was as good as people were saying. The chosen setup for this wedding was my full white wedding setup. This bit of footage has the bands I was working with equipment in front of me. But you can see I was using my Yamaha DXR12 tops with the Yamaha DXS15 subs. On top of my plinths, I had my ADJ InnoSpot twins. These were linked together via DMX cable and running master and slave, sound to light. I do need to look up what I could replace these with as I've had them a few years now and would like to achieve a certain effect and look. The truss plinths are finished with white scrims and inside the plinths, I had Beam's BBP96SW lights that were linked together wirelessly, master and slave, sound to light. This evening, the booth was the Equinox truss booth with the white scrim. Behind the scrim of the booth, I had on the floor a Chauvet DJ Easy Link Q4BT wireless par light providing light to the lower part of the booth. And on the top, I had a Chauvet DJ Colorband T3BT lighting bar facing out and through towards the dance floor. To DJ on, I had my trusty Pioneer XDJ RX2 with the Sennheiser HD25 headphones. They're now officially my favorite headphones currently. No laptop for me, as I was working from USB sticks as always. As with many of these bigger weddings I'm asked to DJ at, I am often working with a band. And at this event, I was working alongside a band called Synergy. They were a Latin-infused trio playing popular covers of the UK Latin twist feel. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to go and check them out, as these guys are worth hearing and seeing, in my opinion. I've seen them play many times before at various launch events that I was attending, but I'd not actually worked with them previously. I must say, they're an absolute dream to work with, prioritising the bride and groom's wants and needs to deliver exactly what is required. That's what we all need on those type of occasions. Synergy had already completed an outdoor acoustic set as it was a lovely evening before moving inside for the main evening's music. I provided the first dance music and then it was straight into Synergy's set. Everyone was up for a party and the dance floor stayed full. Once Synergy finished, it was straight on with my full DJ set. The bride and groom, Harriet and Dan, had provided a list of some tunes they'd like me to play, uh, but the main instruction was to fill the dance floor and deliver a party. I started my set off keeping the feel the band had laid down with some Danza Kudo. That's probably not pronounced correctly. In fact, it's, I'm pretty sure it's not. But that tune is something I've never used to start a wedding set previously but I had a feeling that it would work, and it did. Sometimes it's good to just go with what you feel, 
will or should work and step outside the box as such. Next up were some tunes that are consistent wedding floor fillers such as Mambo Number no. 5, Reach for the Stars, Timber, Country Roads, the Hermes House Band version as I want obviously a beat and a bass, Cotton Eye Joe, 5, 6, 7, 8 and Tragedy to name a few. It's often during the night we will have the odd dance floor fall and it's often towards the latter part of the set. I'm pleased to report all got up and carried on. Carrying on with the set, I moved to a couple of the playlist tunes such as Don't Stop Me Now that were requested by the Braille and Groom. At this point in the evening, I had a request to play Apache as Dan and his brother had a dance they do. I'm always more than happy to help the groom show off his dancing skills and as you can see, they were loving the opportunity to display them this evening. Moving on, it's getting later in the night, so it was time to put on a bit of an indie rock set together. I started off mine with my go-to starter for these types of sets, which is usually Put Your Hands Up by Reef. That kind of gets the, the mood going. I also include other tunes such as Sex Is On Fire by Kings of Leon, the classic that is Mr. Brightside by The Killers. I often feel though that track is played too often by many as it gets requested a lot. Myself, I always say it's on the playlist, it'll be played tonight. It's important in my opinion you don't ruin the music flow of a night because that'll affect your dance floor. Anyway, other tracks I like to include often in this type of set is I Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor, Pumped Up Kicks, Chelsea Dagger, Stacey's Mum, Take Me Out, Somebody Told Me, Ruby. The list goes on, but I'm sure you know the tunes. We then moved on to dance classics and further floor fillers and finished off with a good old fashioned sing-along. Pack Down took me about 1.5 hours at this venue for the setup that I had, and I'm pleased to say the feedback for the DJ set from everyone was amazing. I have a few more gigs already filmed, so expect to see them more regularly now. I'm back into things. Before you go, I want to let you know who was the winner of the last giveaway or from the last video for the Star Cloth. I randomly picked one of the entries, and that is Kevin Tool, AKA DJT, who said number 59. Well done. Drop me a message on social media and I'll get you your star cloth shipped to your UK address. A big thank you to all for taking the time to watch this video. It's really appreciated. And an extra thank you for everyone who has subscribed. You know who you are. Don't forget to press the like button now if you've not already done so. Share to your social media of choice. And if you're not subscribed then to this channel yet, then now is the time to do it. And don't forget to turn on that bell so you get notified next time one of my videos goes live. Thanks again, and until next time, JP out.